the mistakes of my professional life. Sorry, uh, but uh, if you are if you are inclined to listen to my mistakes in the personal life, get in get in uh, so, so ethanol uh, intoxicated. He will back eloquent for the next three hours. The, the difference between the doctor and the lawyer, ladies and gentlemen, is that the doctor keeps his uh, mistakes hidden six feet under, and the, the lawyer's mistakes are hung high up for all the world to see. Uh, it is uh, necessary for us to learn from others' mistakes because you will not live long enough to make them all yourself. This is uh, Admiral Hyman J. Rickover, who was, uh, who was uh, the Admiral of the US Navy uh, probably in 1930s to 50s. So if you repeat the same mistakes, you are like me, you are average. Uh, if you learn from your, your own mistakes, like sort of Dr. Vimal Sirulwatta, who has done a lot of mistakes and sort of learned from them, uh, you are intelligent. Uh, but if you learn from others' mistakes, ladies and gentlemen, you are a genius. I think there are a few of them here. Uh, the case of the postpartum woman. Uh, this what happened when I was the VP at Kulia Pitya. She was a 28-year-old lady who was in the... the, the the ward two days postmortem, she had no positive with significant illness. As sudden onset rise at a chest pain, associated shortness of breath, and brief syncope. Uh, res the respiratory is supposed to reduce the air right to the right side of the chest. Right, what is the diagnosis? It's very easy. Postpartum, sudden onset chest pain, syncope, tachypnea, and I made the mistake. What is the diagnosis? Pulmonary embolism. So, so the, the, look at this. The people make mistakes. Oxygen saturation 92% on room air. Pulmonary embolism. I don't know how I missed it. And the ECG. What do you see? The tachycardia. The commonest uh, ECG abnormality is the tachycardia. And this one, you can is a reacting, but it's seen here. Uh, and the right bone branch block. What is the diagnosis? Pulmonary embolism. What do you do now? So you are in Puliya, you don't have the, the CD pulmonary angiogram. And you give them what? Inusipari. Yeah. And, and uh, they, they were, the, the lady was so, so fortunate that uh, the, uh, my house office had the better sense than me. She did the chest x ray. And it showed the right hemithorax opaque. And the hemoglobin was 6.2. Aspiration of the right side yielded the fresh blood. And the diagnosis is spontaneous hemothorax of the right side. It's a ruptured AV malformation. So don't go by the ECG. There are these rare things can happen. So if I were to view her in Oxyparin, the, the family would have been celebrating the 14th year of uh, death anniversary today. Uh, this is the case of the death at Ward 33. Ward 33, ladies and gentlemen, is the surgical casualty ward of the National Hospital of Sri Lanka. Now, <clears throat> now the people come with several ailments, and this there was this 45 year old man, his name was Bandar. Bandar comes with a surgical casualty every week when I am there as the house officer. Uh, comes complaining of abdominal pain, epigastric, anything in time. Now, when he comes the first time, he gets ultrasound done. Those days, they have no ultrasounds, probably. X rays, all the stuff, investigations, and uh, the registrar says, DW, uh, good old days, ladies and gentlemen, it was a very good drug given for uh, ailments of unspecified nature, and people get better. And now, Bandara comes several times and the DW is given. Now, when there's a house officer who's not very familiar with Bandara is around, and Bandara says, Sir, give a DW to them, Sanji Puna. And the nurse comes and gives a distilled water injection, the patient gets better. And Bandara goes home one fine night. Uh, Bandara comes. Uh, so, Bandara is given a DW and is put to the Bed. Uh, say now nowadays this is gastric kamarua. Gastric kamaru, ladies and gentlemen, is a uh, again when when you when a patient comes, you ask what the disorder, they say gastric kamarua. 
the gastric amaro can be in the tummy when they, they think of uh, gastroesophageal reflux uh, 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 what uh, what is else uh, biliary disease acute pancreatitis is everything gastric amaro and myocardial infarction is gastric amaro and headache is due to gastric amaro gas oluda gahala because uh, in in uh, in migraine ladies and gentlemen the headache is associated with uh, nausea sort of regurgitation abdominal distension and uh, the patients who come with gastric tamaru ulvota gahala they are given imomiprazole and omep the patient goes home a little while later as anyone else the migraine gets better and the patient is now very satisfied gastric tamaru dosa mata hodata mata next day the, the, the patient goes to the doctor and says sir buduwen nona iye beet tika dunna takgala sari puna gastric tamaru takgala hariya and the doctor thinks yako then me 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 ka gastric tamar ulwada gahana thamai next time he any patient comes he gives omeprazole to headache and the patients get better because anyway get better and one recently there was a achiyama who comes to see me and said mukadamma maruwa sir gastric tamaruwa ha kohedam me kohedu denne me danisse mahatwa thing Gastric amaru in Danisa is very general. Vata amaru in Nacha mass. Danisa vata amaru. Vata in English is gas, and they think this vata is same anuva. Gastric amaru Danisa is always going out of line, and uh, this patient was admitted to one casualty ward and found dead by the nurses. And I am in the uh, intern's quarters. The nurse calls me and says, "Sir, me, sir, can I?" Bandara uh, tak amaru. Uh, DW kat denda, and then dia ni bandar kodak kamaru. Hydrocortisone uh, denda. Those days patient could not die without hydrocortisone and oxygen. And nowadays it's a little different. Uh, and uh, and uh, hydrocortisone dunna, oxygen dana dunna, uh, <coughs> mangenna. And go there and see that the bandar is long gone. The diagnosis is. Inferior myocardial infarction. So the thing is, all the body amaros are not gastric amaros, and all the body amaros should not end up in both the three, the casualty surgical ward. The case of the girl who was shot of breath. This is a very interesting case, ladies and gentlemen. Where I was first, a 17-year-old girl, 17-year-old girl complains of weakness of limbs for the. Uh, last three days, and she was short of breath for the last 24 hours, and went to the general practitioner. She was nebulized with salvitamol. Now she went to the GP with shortness of breath, and she was seated on the chair. Gas was poured, and the woman could not get up. Now she had to carry the general practitioner to her bed. Man, and then now they will come, you know, full of maharu halat. And uh, I was a registrar there. So I usually dig up into the social history and found that she had a, this young woman had a love affair with the priest of the temple. Lamia gya meger mana dham pasal gya podi ham do the podi samman dekha tu na gami means rahu na kata hu na kaman ne gami means rahu na bade you right? Now she gets short of breath and now she is carried to the now she can't say no. Ammala thakra dhanna meela meeta ne dushpa karna maurne me pasal ni sa. दूसरा महत्व क्या दरने दूसरा महत्व सेल्फ ब्यूटी मान लाल लेनो एलोड पासे वाट उड़ा के नौ बड़ी तरह एग्नोसिस लेडी नहीं मिलता आई बोल रही है दिस होट और नेक्स्ट एम ने शी डिसेप्टिया नो रिफ्लेक्सेस एडिसेबल ये मुझे दे रखी नीड जेटिस नोट दिया नाउ देन यू आस्क देम से इडिपिडो � Giran Bahar is in Rumbia. Amazing, amazing. I don't know why I miss all this. Oxygen saturation 96 on Rumbia now. Giran Bahar is in Rum. Tachypnic 42, no reflexes. Now what? Artery blood gas pH 7.17. Anybody with diagnosis? She's acidotic. And acidosis, no reflexes, shortness of breath. Potassium low. That is why she could not get up. She was short of breath because of acidosis. She was taken to the doctor. Said short of breath. She was given salvitamol. Nebs the potassium went down. She could 
of go there she had to be carried home and now the potassium is low the diagnosis ladies and gentlemen and a normal anion gap acidosis urine ph8 inability to acidify urine below 5.5 is bicarb less than 13 the diagnosis is disturbed renal tubular acidosis ha the case of mistaken psychiatrist ladies and gentlemen i have affinity to the psychiatrist my wife is a psychiatrist so it's a it's a disclaimer uh, there was this 39 year old man who made a major mistake of life now you know the 10 command 10 commandments he broke the 11th what is the 11th commandment ladies and gentlemen thou shall not be caught so you can help do anything as long as you are not caught his wife found that he had a second so now as usual they are the beige room and she runs to the the kitchen gets the poison bottle and he's about to drink it man jumps catches the bottle falls unconscious with the bottle of poison now he comes to the board now you know they go round i'm going to the board this is happened in kalutara and same ee wife me wah bonna adela me me beer bonna dila ne me katha karanne sir vikarne katha karanne me oh yani malle pol answers <laughs> what is your diagnosis simple enough what are those called what is the diagnosis then the kick off that the 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 diagnosis is ara mana the general med health nasani pe kollat ek tarah una scene kala what is that for psychiatrist ki team now the funny thing is ladies and gentlemen we have all agree that there is a psychological stress factor now he is finding a way out of this right and now you write to the psychiatrist now the funny is the story about the psychiatrist at that place ladies and gentlemen is that gami ke uta hadena ne ko pissu o wata gama pura duwana gami means ke o kada pissu oka ekak gila dapa spiritual ta so they carry him to the hospital and the bandala gain off Get an opinion. Get an opinion doctor. Admit to the medical ward. Get the psychiatric referral. Now everybody agrees he has psychiatric disorder. And when we write to the psychiatrist, the psychiatrist says DSM criteria nearly, and we get agree. DSM is the other psychiatrist should have DSM criteria. And I tell the the house officer, oh, come psychiatric referral only see the girl lava. And this is the thing. What has happened? Unfortunate man had double jeopardy. Put a horagani kati ona, kedra gani kati ona. Ulve tikba ulva ta liye bessa. This this din to vela vane kono vela vana kono yagi bade vena. Ah, this is the case of the constipated woman. This happened when I was a house officer at Kansas Hospital, Maharashtra. Uh, so those days, Kansas Hospital Maharashtra was a one-man station at night. So you go around writing the DCs. When you write the highest number of DCs, you are called DC Lianaki. I carry the title even now. Right now, there was this woman, 75-year-old woman, who was the mother, mother-in-law of a doctor, a diagnosed multiple myeloma, treated in the oncology ward. Now I am seated there during the waiting, uh, visiting hours. Uh, this doctor comes and says, "Magi." Junior bete ke, aye me, nanda mata me, badi lagi la nani, hari mampalagan. And next day he comes and says, adat, badi lagi la nai, aku mampalagan nak kiuane. Next day he comes and says, dan dapat tu lagi badi lagi la nai. Dia, I made the mistake, aku badi lagi lagi mukai kot merin nai. And next day she died of hypercalcemia, and I forgot that hypercalcemia can cause constipation. Hypercalcemia is a common uh, the the constipation is a very common percentage of hypercalcemia. And had I told my boss that this woman has not passed tools, he will sir, he will say he will also say But uh, he died of hypercalcemia. The lesson that I learned is that I will tell my seniors. These significant symptoms, especially if they are not happy 
case of the missing diaphragm. This again happened at the cancer hospital. There was a 70 year old man with disseminated malignancy. I was told by the nurse, the patient is non responsive. I go in there and sort of put my stethoscope. Kusmaganda, no husma. Kusmaganda, no husma. No breath sounds diagnosis. That was the problem of the, the diaphragm. The diaphragm is missing. <laughs> we have had that one course called. Ah, these are very mundane, don't worry. Ah, this is a case of Angelina with angina. Ah, one day this happened at Kuliapitya. That is uh, a pocket of uh, the Catholics in Kuliapitya. Yeah. Now I go to the first bed and there was this angel. Uh, Irene, the second bed was Josephine, the third bed was, I was asking how they make Angeline then. Yes, Irene, Josephine, Rosaline, Angeline. And Angeline says, this is a 32 year old woman, she has complaints of chest pain with moderate exertion, ECG is normal, and the cardiologist and the commission is two, two weeks a week. And they don't come to Korea. And chest pain with moderate exertion. ECG normal, 32 years. Mukad the prashni, wah wah, kithra prashni thi no husband ne. Ne hari santo singi ne jati ke ne kalat ne kaman ne. And the do a chest X-ray. There is pneumothorax. So all the the chest pains on exertion are not stable and jainas. Ah, case of dengue patient. This is an interesting case. Dengue patient, 13 year old, prepubertal girl. Fever day three, very few report from the morning, admitted at 12.30, cutting a long story short, ladies and gentlemen. She had she was in leakage phase, respiratory 14, has passed 15 ml of urine on admission, no urine for three hours. And you put a catheter, you put a normal say like catheter, counts are low, no urine, and repeat counts are there. What would you do? You put a catheter there. Not a drop of urine in the bag with the that tube. What is the diagnosis? What is that? Catheter is not in the bladder. I'll show you. What do you say? Catheter is not in the bladder, it's in the vagina. Look at this, bladder is outside. So if you have no no urine in a tube, the catheter is not there. It's not that the patient is anuric. It's not there. VIP with diarrhea on it. Ah, that, this is very interesting thing. Sorry. Do you have Yes. Right. This is a doctor's father, 65-year-old, divorcee, living with his mistress, 38. Now, say, we don't envy others, others precious, so don't worry. You'll get your chance when you're 65. Uh, admitted to the local hospital with diarrhea. Diarrhea continued for 10 days. This is a watery diarrhea. What's your diagnosis? Diarrhea, the was the Now he's sweating profusely. What is the abnormality here? When you have diarrhea, you expect patient to help. So, what is the diagnosis? So, say, what's that, madam? Heart block. Ah, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Now, this is where the mistress was poisoning his arac. He was giving organophosphate. Urumasaki organophosphate kapakata. And the, so she goes to the local hospital. Wife comes every day with the bath packet. He gets better and eats the organophosphate and gets the diarrhea. Ten days, organophosphate poison. And the thing was that he had the point view pills. There were, he's divorced. Uh, there was no court case. The case of the beautiful daughter. This happened when I was ambilipity Yapa. You know the uh, ambilipedia, and I was in this channel center, small channel center, 
uh, there is this uh, old uh, uh, very haggard looking woman uh, coming with a very beautiful daughter the daughter is a bystander now the woman is there the woman is starts from the head to toe the mahatyo kondi dena mahatyo nal red wet to wicket to dena na hit to dena katari de beta phella bela de dena kan de dena katari de dena but i can't blame them i am the sarvanga so uh, so so I, I, I listen to them and the, the, this uh, girl, this sweet looking young woman, she's smiling with me. And how can I ask Nangi Dakalakino again? I can't say no Dakalakino. I don't know where she has seen her. And then, 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 then I'm, I'm more concerned about this Dakalakino Nangi. I was uh, in my late 30s, sorry. Um, and then uh, and now I have to, I can't ask no Nangi for the Yiki. And now I asked Amma, Amma, Lama ki the ne kitri no ada. Atai mahatyo. A khatti mukda karan ne. A puto tumne rai daval duvala paste ne. Ha ha ha. Loko duva. Hari hari. Itho kora duva ni duva. Itho kora me duva. Sir, Mam sir, you are persistent ne. And uh, listen, ladies and gentlemen, it is nurses when they are off their uniform. They look much different. <laughs> Thank you.